Midnight Daredevils. It's the 3 a.m. challenge, five spine-chilling videos ahead. Not for the faint-hearted, hit play at your own risk, nightmares included. Ready to dive into the dark, your call. Number five. Today, we're exploring an abandoned haunted house near my place. YouTuber Chippy Watson ventures in at 3 a.m. for a paranormal investigation. Things take a dark turn when they encounter a chilling room that sends shivers down their spines. Prompting a hasty door closure, a ghostly presence looms, creating an unsettling atmosphere. Oh, no. Shut that. Guess what you might have missed as he opens the door. There's this ghost orb or weird light on camera, kind of slipping into that small room. Super creepy, right? It's completely shut. Completely shut. Alright, let's get up, up in the attic because we never did. Avoiding the attic, soft floor, especially at 3 a.m. No spooky sightings on camera. But let me know if you see anything in the basement. They stumble upon more eerie evidence or footsteps in the dust. Someone's been pacing in circles, kicking holes into the room. Seriously creepy stuff. Look at all the footsteps. Look at the holes in the wall. Perhaps poltergeist activity or kids partying in an abandoned house. The group ventures upstairs, finding an open door. Suspecting a ghost, I say it might be a loose tool knob. Common in abandoned houses, yet, they got scared here before, feeling a ghost nearby. It could be paranormal, now. The scariest 3 a.m. moment, his friend urges him closer to capture the ghostly noises on camera. What? Did you just knock? Soft knocking. Eerie noises from the other side of the door, not them. The stickies holding don't touch the wall, and watch. What? 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 And when two more knocks happen, while he's standing even farther away, so it's not him. Did you just knock? Who knows what they would have seen if they looked inside the room one final time. Number 4. Luna Mel, with innate paranormal communication skills, delves into the supernatural on her eponymous ghost hunting channel. To turn on the flashlight that's next to me. Please. Do you think you can do that? How many of you were married when you. Okay. I don't like that. That's scary. Within seconds, Luna Mao senses an approaching presence, despite the flashlight being on. No living soul appears nearby, the object inexplicably activates. Seemingly touched by an unseen force. Turn the flashlight on. Ignoring further queries, they turn off the flashlight, suggesting a silent, observant presence. As Luna glances over her shoulder again, the mystery deepens. Number 3. In another investigation, Luna and friends attempt a spirit summoning, and it seems to have worked. In the Omen House, a group infiltrates a famous celebrity's home. Capturing eerie footage, paranormal equipment registers, spirit motion. Possibly affected by a ghost hunter lifting a K to meter, upon closer inspection. A paranormal energy spike coincides with motion sensor activations. Soon after, an unexplained blue light sweeps the room deemed not a flashlight, initially skeptical. Doubts linger until a team member demonstrates shelf stability, yet 
as he departs, an object topples inexplicably. A frequent occurrence, the chilling events unfold in the Omen House, questioning the boundary between the paranormal and skepticism. I want to show them one more time. A final goodbye before they all leave. Are you just going to keep doing this? They're going to jump. Oh! The same object inexplicably falls twice, while it could be attributed to an unbalanced toy. The timing, occurring as he walks away, hints a potential ghostly intervention. The repetition suggests a ghost with selective intelligence seeking attention. Number 2. Proper Life, a YouTube channel, takes on a 24-hour challenge at the Haunted Stockyards Hotel. Built in 1910, as the first bed and breakfast in Fort Worth, Texas. It's known for paranormal activity from various time periods at 3 a.m. The crew explores for signs of hauntings. Ryan discovers handwritten notes from paranormal investigators, reading them aloud, inciting fresh poltergeist activity caught on camera. In this tale of the haunted hotel, the mystery unfolds. And heard a strange noise in the middle of the room. What the f was that? What? Look at the mirror. What the f the mirror oh my God. Mirror moves on its own, objects in the next room. Fan on full speed. Yet a heavier object moves by itself. Seems paranormal to them, maybe to you too. Exploring the haunted room, they find the fan, likely mover of the mirror, turned off. Camera repeatedly goes out of focus on Zack suggesting a ghost, despite proper lighting. It persists, considered paranormal evidence. It's not focusing on you. It's like a flashing. It is not focusing on you. It is not focusing on you at all. Are we good? No. Really, it's not focusing on you. That's really Camera acting weird only around Zack since he entered that spooky room. Maybe a spirit attached to him, more objects move on their own at 3 a.m. as the group splits up. This room's really creepy. Like, do you get the chill in here? Like, I'm, are you feel that? Look at that hat on the wall. Like, I just. I oh, did you hear that? Yeah. Is that not you? Ooh, ooh, that's creepy. Oh, it's still creeping. Oh, go, go, go. When they regroup to share findings, more paranormal evidence is caught on tape. Like, bring down our face. What was that? What was that? Did you guys make a note? The entire proper life crew is huddled together in one room. No way those spooky noises are from another room. Admit it, Stockyards Hotel is seriously creepy and undoubtedly haunted. One night I'm in my bed asleep and this old lady comes out of my closet. She's all like, she's like down her face. Did you guys that? What was that? Did you guys make a note? Number one. Number one on the paranormal YouTube channel list is Explore With Us Ghost Hunting. In their latest investigation, the team explores the Nevada countryside, revisiting where Nan Dixon disappeared in the 1970s, encountering mysterious lights, potential headlights, and unfriendly locals. They drive toward an abandoned house linked to Nan Dixon's ghost capturing what seems to be a solid black ghost orb, later revealed as a smudge on their car windshield. Around the couple minute, a strange 3 a.m. sighting reveals a phantom face slowly slinking away in the dark room. Following this, some camera equipment experiences a battery failure. Mysterious lights and flashes continue, and paranormal equipment starts flashing with supernatural energy. Exploring another abandoned house, strange lights seem to follow them, adding to the eerie atmosphere. The unexplained phenomena raise questions about the haunted nature of the area and the potential presence of spirits. 